Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to TryHard Nation. As always, I'm your host, The Omega TryHard, and today we have the start of a new series for you guys. So let's jump into it. So, last week I made a video requesting what you guys want to see, what kind of content you want to see, what type of videos or things like that that you want to see on the channel just because my focus here is to help you guys. And um, yeah, I, I, I can't help you if I don't know what you need help with. So that's what I, uh, I put a video out last week saying that. And the responses that I got were basically about making champion guides, specifically Doom. Um, I don't know if that was because I pulled him recently and people just wanna see what that looks like. But yeah, so I'm gonna be start doing, I'm going to start doing uh, champion guides at least once a week. I'm not sure how I'm going to do uh, champion guides moving forward. Like if I'm going to have like a poll that you guys vote on or just start doing characters that I get or maybe I'll request characters in this video. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be doing them at least once a week. Hopefully they'll be fairly well edited so that it's visually appealing to you guys, visually stimulating, um, seeing a lot of examples of what it is that I'm talking about so that you can understand it because there's a lot of things like especially with Doom when I talk about his aura of Hazareth, it's very complicated the way that it sounds but when then you when you see it and see everything actually working it's it's really simple and um, yeah hopefully the editing will help that out. I'm also going to start doing like a question of the day type of thing where, again, I'm just going to ask you a random question. If you guys want to respond, you guys can. And at the end of the video, I will feature the previous videos like answer. So for instance, if I ask today, hey, what's your guys favorite color, right? At the end of the video, I'll pick one answer or maybe it's the funniest, the first the I, I don't know how I'm gonna pick it but I'll pick one and then at the end I'll say hey and this is the highlighted answer from yesterday's video in tomorrow's video if that makes any sense but yeah so today's question of the day is who's your favorite champion to play mine is probably human torch I think that's definitely an the uh, the top answer for me Number two and three are definitely Dr. Doom and Cosmic Ghost Rider. He is quickly climbing up the ranks in my favorite characters in the game. He's just so much fun to play. But yeah, enough housekeeping, enough of that. Um, let's jump into the guide. So, Doom. What are the main reasons that everybody seems to like this guy, right? If you go to anybody's, like Seton, uh, Legacy, Brian Grant, Anybody who's anybody at the upper tier is fishing for this guy. When they do Abyss 100%, this is who they're going to try and go for, for their Nexus Crystal. When they're opening six crystals, it's always, come on, Doom, come on, Doom. Everybody wants this guy. Why, right? What, what makes him so good? So he has really high prestige. I think he has the highest prestige in the game. Maybe uh, Silver Surfer is ahead of him. I'm not 100% sure of that. But prestige is super important for endgame. Um, if you want to know why, I think I answered that in the beginner's guide or maybe the terminology, I think. I think it might actually be in the terminology video. Um, but yeah, his prestige is super high. He has really high base stats, so he has good attack, very good health. He has crit resistance, which is a pretty rare stat. He has high crit, just really good damage overall. He has shock immune, uh, armor break immune, armor shatter immune. He can stagger, he can nullify, he can power drain, he can power steal. He has a fury, so he does a lot of damage. He can go unblockable. Uh, he, he has passive stuns. He does so many good things, and it's all wrapped up into this very high prestige monster, which he, he's basically the, the, the full package of everything. Because even a character like Ghost... Maybe she can do everything offensively, but she's not that good defensively. She's not that good for prestige. She kind of needs uh, like support behind her with at the minimal 
of the Wasps energy. Dr. Doom is 100% good by himself. He's good on offense. He's good on defense. He's good in story. He's good in Alliance Quest. He's good in Alliance War. He's just good all across the board. Um, so let's jump into his like actual abilities right now. And I'm not going to be reading his abilities like line for line, word for word. If you want to do that, you can either go to Aunt May and read through it there, pause the video and read through it as I'm going through, but I'm just going to go over the bullet points of it because I think it's really boring when um, when people just like read off a presentation to you. I, I don't learn that way. I don't want to teach like that. So, yeah. So, his basic attacks do energy damage instead of physical. So, basically, he can get past things like uh, like reflect damage so things like uh, Korg his Korg his reflect doesn't work on his on Doom's medium attack he doesn't take that damage back um, his titanium armor means again he's immune to armor break armor shatter and shock basic attacks uh, so basically his medium will always put a shock on the opponent if they're not immune um, then you can hold heavy to consume that shock and you will passively stun them and it's a guaranteed uh, heavy attack. When you get the heavy attack off, you stagger the opponent for, how long does it say? 10 seconds. So it's a really, really easy way to place a stagger if you're going against a buff heavy character like Hyperion, Vision Arc is something like that. Um, Aura of Hazrath is probably the biggest part of his kit because it does so many different things. And you can activate that by doing the special one or the special three. So for this, you can, um, like I said, you activate it with the level one or the level three. And it won't, when you're fighting Doom, this won't activate if they have a slower Petrify on. But yeah, just keep that in mind. If you're fighting him, that's one way to counter him. Or if they place it on you or if there's a node interaction like that, just keep that in mind. But yeah, so you activate this, and while it's activated, his special attacks, at least the level 1 and the level 2, they're unblockable, and they don't give the enemy power. So normally, if you hit them with like a special 2, they're going to gain like 20% of a bar of power or something like that. While this is active, it's going to give them none. Um, while this is active, their light attacks, or his light attacks, are going to steal 3% of the opponent's power, which is... Basically, if you use all four light attacks, you can steal up to 12% per combo, which is freaking nutty. On top of that, every time that this is active and you're hitting them or being hit by them, you have a 30% chance to nullify a buff. So this is really, really, really good for nodes like uh, Rage, for characters like Hyperion or Mordo that get... Um, get buffed really easily nodes like uh what is that node the one that gives you like energy resistance and physical resistance stuff like that you can use this just to constantly nullify for characters like red skull you can constantly nullify his armor ups it's just super super convenient and again it's a really easy way to mass nullify and uh yeah while he has this active whenever you get hit with a special two or a special three he also resists the final hit, caps it at 5%, and he like doesn't get knocked down or anything. So he resists it, and you can immediately counter. It's awesome. It's super useful for really hard to evade special attacks that are unblockable. So let's say, I don't know, War Machine is unblockable uh, level 1 that typically I, I don't think there's any way that you can 100 percent avoid that damage you can dash back like the initial hit and then just like block the bullets or whatever or, um yeah so if you do this you will probably get hit you'll resist the last hit and then you can just like just retaliate it's awesome super cool um special one again you activate the aura of hazrath however the big thing is you steal power based on how much power the opponent has so for this i'm actually going to read it 
verbatim just because I think that's the easiest way to understand it. So it says the first hit of this attack steals 10% of each full bar of power the opponent has and Doom gains 200% of the power stolen, capping at a maximum of two bars of power. So essentially what this means, if they have one bar of power and you use the level one, it'll steal 10% and you'll gain 20%. If you, they have two bars of power, you'll steal 20% of that and then gain 40%. If they have three bars of power, you'll gain or you'll steal 30% and then gain 60%. The max you can get to is two bars of power. So you'll see in the rotation that I show you, this is crucial. What you want to do is you wanna push them to a special three, use the level one so that you can steal that those two bars of power and then get to your special three. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll explain all that later on, but this is very important. Um, on top of that, every hit will 100% nullify at least one, bu or one buff. So I think it has in total four hits or five hits. So you can nullify up to four or five, whichever that is, using these special ones. So again, really easy way if there's a node or something like that that is stacking buffs, you can use this to nullify a bunch of them. Uh, the level two... Again, each hit, each beam hit has a 100% chance to inflict an incinerate. The incinerate does a lot of damage, as well as if you can use it after the special three, it'll be unblockable so they can't avoid it, and you'll have a fury so the damage goes up even more. Again, I'll show you all of that later, but it's massive. This is where all of his damage comes in. The level three, again, it's 100% chance to inflict a passive stun, which is really good because it gets past stun immune and debuff immune, or it'll get past debuff immune, but not stun immune. Um, super huge, super, super huge piece of utility because not many characters can do that. Um, again, this activates the Aura of Hazarath. However, it's a longer duration. If you do it with the level one, it's only six seconds. If you do it with the level three, it's 12 seconds. This also gives you a fury buff by i don't know like 120 percent of your base attack something close to that so it's a really really big uh attack steroid and you can stack up to two of them so if you get the rotation right it's kind of you have to be pretty tight with it but if you get it for instance mine would get basically 6100 attack which is over double or almost triple my base attack, which is crazy. So I'll show you the rotation in just a moment. After we go through all of his abilities, that's basically what it is. Um, a lot of power steal, a lot of nullification, a lot of um, like defensive stuff with his aura, and just a lot of ways to constantly control the enemy, which if you are familiar with this game at all, you know, the most annoying part of this game is trying to bait out specials. With this, you can basically ignore that entirely and just continue to steal their power and steal their power so they don't get to that level three and you don't really have to worry about much. Um, synergies, he has good synergies. However, none of them are really crucial. Um, he has one just by himself where every team member that's dead, he gains a 10% attack because he's just awesome. Um, with these two, the critical hits, uh, or I'm sorry, he always gets critical hits when they are staggered, which basically they should always have a stagger up, um, unless they're constantly getting buffs and using up that stagger. But yeah, it's a pretty good way to up your DPS if you are anchoring your team around Doom. Um, with this one from Mordo and Red Skull, it increases perfect block chance which is good not great he has pretty good uh, blocking anyways these two he gets the incinerate and shock increase more damage but again not 100 percent crucial but if you like those two characters good to throw on the team um with this one has a 50 percent chance to purify degen poison incinerate bleed and cold snap so this could be a way to assist if you are using suicides 
However, you're basically going to use up the damage that you would have lost with recoil damage. So I don't think it's worth it. I don't find too much value in this. I don't know any place where it's particularly good, especially because it's only a 50% chance. It's not even guaranteed. Um, so yeah, maybe if you're doing like biohazard and you're just constantly rinsing level ones and you're getting lucky and hit the RNG, he could be a pseudo bleed immune, but I don't you're still going to be taking some damage, so I don't I don't know if it's really worth it. Um, Cosmic Overload, basically every time he gets his aura, he gets a random buff. Good to have if you're going to be running Silver Surfer, but not 100% necessary. Uh, successful nullifies the burst of energy damage. Again, nice to have if you're going to be running Morningstar anyways. Cool, it's good, but it's not crucial. And then finally, attack bonuses. Good, not crucial. Um, he does have additional synergies, so let's just pull up Aunt May really quick. All right, so if we're looking at Aunt May, if we go down to his synergies here, as you can see, he has a bunch of synergies, and then these are the ones that other people have with him. So these are all of his. This is his solo synergy, and then these are all the ones that people have with him. So beat up the universe. Uh, his aura lasts two seconds. Pretty good. Again, not... 100% useful, but it does help because that, again, if you're not using uh, Mystic Dispersion, it can be a little bit tight to get his rotation to stack the Furies, but it's not impossible, so it's not 100% necessary. Um, College Rivals with Mr. Fantastic. Heavy attacks apply an armor break, which is pretty good. There are certain fights that this is really helpful with. Um, so characters like Mysterio that have, like, you need to armor break them. This is a pretty good way to deal with it because it's really easy to get the heavy attacks off as well as it's a guaranteed armor break that has a pretty good duration. Um, you can use this to deal with Killmongers. Um, yeah, this is a pretty good one. It's not necessary everywhere, but it does open up more fights that Dr. Doom can do. Uh, Death Wish, don't care. Enemies, just more crit. Fantastic Fiends, chance to purify debuff. Um, I mean, I guess that's good, but it's not too high of a percent, so I'm not too worried about it. This doesn't really matter with him. Perfect block chance doesn't really matter. And this is only for Super Scroll, doesn't really matter. So of all of his synergies, I would probably say the most beneficial one is this one just because it only like it opens up more fights. If you don't have this Killmonger, he's not the best option for Killmonger. He can still do it if you're careful, but with the guaranteed shocks, he'd be gaining a lot of power. So it's not ideal. Um, but yeah, so as you see, his synergies aren't like. He doesn't need any support. He's really good by himself. But yeah, that's everything that you need to know about Doom. So let's just go ahead and jump into some gameplay now. All right, so as you can see here, I have Dr. Doom. He has no team. It's just him. I'm gonna show you my masteries really quick. Again, I don't have Assassin. I don't have Suicides. I don't have anything that's too unique. Um, nothing that adds like special damage. I have no Mystic Dispersion nothing so this is just a six star out of the box dr doom and yeah let's go ahead and jump into it and i'm going to try and show you the uh pretty standard rotations and different things that he can do so let's just go to winter soldier again this is just a normal fight there's nothing particular about him he doesn't gain a bunch of buffs he doesn't have a bunch of power steel anything like that this is basically a normal fight so let's just jump into it so for starters, the combo looks like medium, light, 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 hold heavy. And that's the basic combo that you're always gonna use. As you can see, it places the automatic stagger, which always activates. Got hit there, only took 1% damage. He's super tanky. Again, that's another reason that he's so valuable. Now let's go ahead and activate the aura. Got him to two bars, stole it. So now I have the aura. So I'm going to go ahead and you see I can steal his power here. I'm going to back off. Oh, 
I didn't show you. I was going to show you that he was, um, whatchamacallit, that he was unblockable. So here, I'm going to show you the difference between low power after these special three and then high power on the enemy. So ideally in this situation, you'd want him to be at three bars of power. But since he has no power, I'm not going to be able to steal any power from him. So my rotation is going to be a lot tighter because the goal is to go from special three, steal the power to another special three, steal the power into a special two. So as you can see there, I didn't steal that much power and my aura is almost gone. So again, I'm going to be only doing medium initially and then four lights to try and steal as much power as possible. But I wasn't able to do much because he didn't have power, that much power. So let's just go ahead and build him up. And then from here, I'll show you the proper rotation. There you go. So now what I want to do is I want to go medium, medium, and then light, 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 medium, medium. This way it pushes them as far as they can to maximum power. So double medium, light, 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 medium, medium. He's at three bars of power. Steal it, get to the special two, hold block to bait him in. Light, 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 light. There you go. Light, 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 light. There you go. So now I'm gonna have two bars of power, or I'm gonna have two Furies going and hopefully I'll be able to get up to special two again by stealing two bar or a bar and a half ish of power. So medium, medium, light, 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 medium, medium, steal that. Now I'm just going, ugh, he threw it, dang it. So let's see if I can steal it. There you go. And then it's gonna be unblockable. And then look at how much damage the incinerate to do massive damage massive damage that's doing like there's what 1100 per tick you're getting three ticks and then six ticks total per second so that's what roughly like 68,000 damage or something like that a second which is nuts for such easy rotation as you can see i'm, I'm super safe this whole time so let's just rinse back again Let's just get, actually, I'm going to just throw a special. There you go. I'm just going to throw this wildly just so that I can show you the special two being unblockable because you can do this to get around some really annoying fights. Oh my gosh. Of course, it's not going to play nice this time. Gosh, I hate Winter Soldier sometimes. All right, so let me go ahead and I'm just going to use this one push him back again and then instead of doing the entire rotation to try and get to the special three I'm just gonna try and throw these special two um, just so you can see like the unblockable and see what it would be like with just one fury I'm gonna do that one two three one two come on two three four five there you go now I'm just gonna dash back and then just throw it, just launch it. There you go, with one fury, it's still doing 700 per tick, three ticks, six ticks per second. Massive, super massive. Again, this is completely fresh out of the box and he's doing pretty good damage, really good uh, defenses. You can see I ate all of those attacks and I only lost 1%, 5,000 crit on a heavy. And all of this is super easy to do. So let's see his damage with no Furies now. Still 300 damage. Still pretty good. Uh, pretty good damage with no Furies. So let's try and get him to a special three so that I can just throw the special one. So, oops, you accidentally push him to a special three. There you go. You just steal it. And then you can start your rotation. Go, ignore that throw it again and this is most fights with doom there's not many fights that can change this rhythm you just get to the special three um, steal power 
get more power. There you go, medium, medium, light, 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 medium, medium, steal it. Alright, let's steal it again. I'm gonna step back. Then I'm just gonna oh, he would do that. And then I'm just gonna throw this and I should be able to kill it. There you go. Like okay, I was a winter soldier and 265 hits with no suicides, no support, no nothing, with just a fresh six-star Doctor Doom. Which again isn't that crazy. Like, those numbers could be a lot lower, but you have to realize that you were in little to no danger during any of these hits. Um, it's also really inflated because you're getting a lot of hits off of the special one and the special, or the special three and the special two. Even the special one has a lot of hits in it, and you're going to be rinsing a lot of special attacks. So that hit counter is going to go up. Realistically, this is probably somewhere closer to, like, I don't know, 150 or 160 actual like button presses of you either tapping uh, the special button or hitting. So it's pretty good. The numbers are just inflated, so it doesn't look that great. But again, this is also no mystic dispersion. This is no suicides to up your damage, no glass cannon, no assassin, no anything. This is just fresh out of the box. Super strong character. Um, and again, that's that's all fights you can make all fights look like that if it's i actually can't think of any fights where you can't do that with so let's go ahead and i'm going to leave this and i'm going to try and find a act or a fight in act six all right so we're back and here we are in act six we are in 6.2.1 so i'm just going to go towards this path, which I think this path has a juggernaut on it. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get to it, but let's just see some fights, some like actual Act 6 gameplay. Again, normal masteries, fresh out of the box, no boost, no support, no nothing, just a normal Doctor Doom. So let's see what he can do. Oh, this is life cycle too, which he's really good at. Why? Because he has guaranteed heavy attack, so you can get that life cycle fairly easily. Again, I want to push him to high bar of power. Now let's just steal it, hit into his block, do that. Hold block to get him to come into us. Light, 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 light. Just keep stealing. Now here again, I want to push him as far as possible. Get that 20% because we're good at the game. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Then from here, we're going to go medium, medium, light, 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 medium, medium, special one. And that's the rotation. He'll be at three bars of power, medium, medium, light, 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 medium, medium, steal it. There you go. We're right back here. We're going to bait this to get the heavy. There you go. Steal more power. Dash back. Ugh, we didn't get it. Ugh, that's annoying. But it's cool. Things don't always go as you want, right? So we're going to dash in again. Special one. And just rinse and repeat. There we go. Can we steal enough power? Oof. Apparently we're not that good at the game. We missed the 20%. But no baby. <clears throat> and then again, medium, medium, light, 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 medium, medium, steal the two bars of power, hold heavy so he comes in, steal power, steal power, steal power. There we go. Now we're back at uh, special three and most likely this will kill him, but I'm not 100% sure if I timed it right because of the, yeah, it's not going to because of the life cycle, but now he's dead. And if you're familiar with the game at all, life cycle fucking sucks. It's terrible. 
it's a stupid node where you have to knock them down um, to like deactivate this buff, which makes it so that you can actually let me just pull it up so you can read it. If you want to read it, you can do that. Basically, you have to knock him down to be able to kill him. So you turn this off by knocking him down or using special attacks. And then in that window where this buff is down, then you can kill him. Otherwise, they just keep healing to 10%. Super annoying. And Doom made it look super easy. Again, his damage isn't super flashy, but it's the fact that he's in zero to no danger this whole time. He's very safe. He's very tanky. If you do mess up, you can take a hit. Um, he can power control. He's fun. The back slap is very satisfying. And yeah, I think that'll be it for this first guide. Um, if you guys have any more questions, if there's something I missed, if there's something more that you want to see, um, if there's specific types of gameplay or anything like that that you want to see, let me know in the comments below. Um, oh, I almost forgot the is he good with suicide or not so actually ignore everything i just said because we have a couple minutes more to go so suicides he's really strong with suicides like he hits very hard um however he's not ideal for them because as you can see you're going to be using a lot of special attacks and that recoil damage adds up um so you're going to be healing a lot or you're only going to be able to use him for a couple of fights However, if you're not, like if you don't want to go specifically with that rotation, you can just rinse the special threes and he's going to do a lot of damage between his normal um, heavy attack rotation, the medium light, light heavy attack, that's going to do a lot of damage. And then the special three is going to do a lot of damage with the fury buff that he gets as well as with suicides. So if you have suicides, I would say just stick to the special three. Don't really worry about the power control or that particular rotation unless you only need him for a couple of fights. Um, now where he's not good at are <clears throat> not that many fights, to be honest. I would say the fights that you don't really want to take him into are against, ironically, Vision Arcus because Vision Arcus has a lot of... Why can't I think of the word? He has like a resistance, there we go, to power steal. So his rotation doesn't really work. You don't want to bring him against metal or against Magnetos because he's a metal character. You don't want to bring him against, um, what's that dude's name? Terax, because Terax has a resistance to power drain from metal characters. Um, you don't want to bring him against Human Torch because the shock will give him uh, the heat charges, the smolders, I think it's called. It'll give him more smolders as well as since he's a mystic, you never want to go against a torch with a mystic because you're going to be doing uh, get he hella, hella, hella incinerates on you from the smolder charges. Uh, let's see who else. I can't really think of many. I, I think that's really it that you don't really want to go against maybe domino because she can make your abilities not work but he's basically good against everybody and every piece of content um yeah i think i think that's actually it this time i think that's everything you need to know about doom again if you guys want to see more gameplay if you guys want to see specific fights or specific synergy setups anything like that like I'm not going to show you because he doesn't really have any specific synergy setups. He's just a character that you throw onto your team and he'll be beneficial. But yeah, any requests you guys have, leave it in the comments below. This is my third time saying it. I'm sorry, but I appreciate you guys. I love you guys for watching, for liking, for subscribing. If you want to see more, let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.